Could the new Tesla Model 3 Highland come with a new engine? Are Tesla poised to redefine the future of electric vehicle engines? Is this Tesla about to rocket ahead of the competition again? Wow, Tesla's recent announcement about a new permanent magnet motor sounds like a total game changer. I gotta say, when I first heard talk about this at their investor event, I was super intrigued. A motor design that's smaller, lighter, cheaper, and more efficient, all without using rare earth metals, that's huge. I mean, neodymium has been like the go-to for powerful permanent magnets forever. It's basically become the industry standard. Any electric motor that needs strong magnetic fields has relied on neodymium and other rare earth metals. They're just the strongest magnets out there, or so we thought. If Tesla found a way to make a motor that matches or beats neodymium magnet motors without using any rare earths, that would shake things up big time, and in a good way. Let me break down why this is such a big deal. First off, it would make Teslas way cheaper to produce. Rare earth metals aren't cheap. Those materials get exported from China and can be subject to supply issues. Replacing them with something more accessible would slash production costs. And savings for Tesla translates to savings for consumers. Win-win. On top of that, this breakthrough would mean Tesla isn't as dependent on China anymore. China has a near monopoly on rare earth metal mining and processing. Given the trade tensions between China and the US, cutting reliance on Chinese exports has to be a priority for Tesla. Boosting self-sufficiency by using locally sourced materials is huge strategically. It also helps Tesla's mission of accelerating sustainability. Extracting rare earth metals isn't exactly environmentally friendly. A lot of toxic materials are used for mining and processing. So moving to a motor that avoids rare earths altogether aligns perfectly with Tesla's larger goal of eco-friendly transportation. And I gotta say, it's impressive but not totally surprising coming from Tesla. They've been at the forefront of battery tech innovation with their 4680 cells, but they've also been making big moves on the motor side that kind of flew under the radar. Tesla started with induction motors back on the original Roadster. Makes sense since the company is named after Nikola Tesla, who invented induction motors but they evolved to permanent magnet motors like the AC synchronous motors in the Model 3 because of the better power density and efficiency. The issue was those motors needed strong magnets, which meant rare earth metals. But now it seems Tesla's found a way around that limitation altogether. Kinda crazy that a solution was right there all along. Based on Elon's comments, they've discovered some new magnetic material that can match neodymium magnets without using rare earths. My money's on iron nitride. It's been studied as an alternative for years. The University of Minnesota startup Neuron Magnetics has apparently achieved a breakthrough that makes large-scale production feasible. See, iron nitride has a theoretical energy density nearly three times higher than neodymium. With the right processing, you can make magnets stronger and smaller, but using only common elements like iron and nitrogen. And they resist demagnetization at high temps better too. Of course, there are manufacturing challenges to work out. You can't just make this stuff by throwing iron and nitrogen together. It needs special processing to achieve the atomic structure that gives you optimal magnetic properties. But it seems like Neuron overcame that barrier. And if Tesla is tapping into this technology, that's big news. With smaller, cheaper, better magnets, they can make smaller, cheaper, better motors. When you combine that with their work on batteries, Tesla seems poised to hit a whole new level of performance and cost efficiency. This move also fits with Elon Musk's vision of eventually scaling up to 20 million vehicles a year. With simpler, streamlined motor manufacturing that cuts out finicky rare earth metal supply chains, Tesla can start thinking about volumes like that. Plus, making motors cheaper and smaller is the next logical step after boosting battery tech. You need both parts of the equation, energy storage and conversion, to make compelling electric transportation. To me, this signals that Tesla is attacking EV innovation from all angles. So in summary, by replacing rare earth magnets with these alternative iron nitride magnets, Tesla stands to slash production costs, reduce dependence on foreign exports, align with their sustainability mission, and take meaningful steps toward their ambitious scaling plans. It's hugely promising, and once again shows that Tesla is out innovating everybody. Exciting times ahead.